Hello dear student. Today in grammar in unit 2 lesson 3 we are going to talk about it another tense in English language which is future continuous. Let's get started. When we use future continuous we use the future continuous to talk about something that will be in progress at or around a time in the future. Look at this example. They will be preparing for the exam this time next week. This is future continuous tense. And also we have some time expression that they can be used with the future continuous which is or which are today, tomorrow, soon, later and next week or year. And now let me show you what are the forms of future continuous. This is the positive form of future continuous. We have subject it at the beginning and then we have will be. After will be we have verb ing and then we have the rest of the sentence or we can say the complement. We have example here. I'm little hungry. I will be eating a pizza. This is future continuous. We have will be and after will be we have verb ing which is eating. The second example. She will be preparing for the exam. Will be and then we have verb ing. This is future continuous. And now how can we negate the future continuous? This is the form of negative of future continuous. We have subject as we said at the beginning and then we change will be to uh, or we can say we add no to uh, this um, expression will be we say will not be after will not be also as we said we have verb ing and then we have complement. It means we negate the sentence by adding not to all. I'm too tired. I will not be going out tonight. Will not be and then we have verb ing. This is the negative form of future continuous. Another example. They will not be playing volleyball. They will not and then we have verb ing. This is future continuous in a negative form. And now let's talk about the question form of future continuous. How can we make the question form for future continuous? Uh, we move will and put at the initial or at the, at the beginning of the sentence before the subject. It. Uh, after subject it we have be and then be followed by verb ing and then we have complement. But be careful uh, when we talk about the question form we have question mark at the end of this sentence. Look at these examples. Will you be preparing for the exam? We have will at the beginning. Another example. Will she be cooking for dinner? This is the question form for future continuous. And also we have WH question form. We put WH question words at the initial before will, I mean at the beginning of this sentence. And then we have will, after all we have subject and then we have verb, uh, we have B plus verb ing. Look at these examples. Where will you be studying after school? This is the question form of future continuous with WH question word which is where here. Where will you be studying after school? Another example. When will she be going skying? When will. And then we have subject is then be plus verb ing. The summary. We use future continuous or we can say it ex expresses continuing actions that we expect to happen in the future. This is the general rule of future continuous, which is uh, we have subject it at the beginning and then we have will be after will be we have verb ing. Look at these examples. This is the positive one. He will be studying English tomorrow. And we negate it by adding not here. We say he will not be studying English tomorrow. And this is the question form we add will at the beginning. We say will he be studying English tomorrow? And also we have WS question where we put it at the beginning. I mean before will we say when will he be studying English? That's all.
Thanks for you all.